Okay, so just as we think things can't get any worse, and we all think we're on the brink of a cataclysmic disaster, CBS comes out with this and says, Yellowstone, super volcano, large earth than previously known, study shows. The headline speaks for itself, so I'm not going to say too much on it. Um, according to a study presented last week at the American Geophysical Union, the supervolcano contains more hot molten rock than previously estimated. And if you scroll down here, if the next eruption is anything like its last, which happened 640,000 years ago, it will spew large amounts of volcanic ash and material into the atmosphere. It would be a global event. There would be a lot of destruction and a lot of impacts around the globe. Sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? So whenever all this volcanic ash and material is spit into the atmosphere, including dust and debris and all sorts of other stuff, which is also caused by this mega quake, that's mega earthquake that's going to trigger this Yellowstone volcano, then there's going to be the three days that we're all waiting on, or three days of darkness, I mean, that we're all waiting on. So, I mean, that's just my theory. I'm not asking you to believe me, but uh, I think that's where the three days of darkness is going to come from. So that's why people like her or him, as I like to say, is for fun. That's why they're saying stuff like unprecedented natural disaster is on the way. So they know this stuff's going to happen. So, But they'll be nice and safe in their bunkers deep down beneath the earth. Lucky them. Glad that someone's got a nice seat for this party. Freaking jerks. So thanks to everybody for watching. I'll put the link below. Thanks to all my teammates and subs out there. And uh, see you on the next video.